I guess this is it. <laughs> so this is a video of us trying a bunch of stuff we got at Jungle Gyms, which is an international market. This is a dog. Don't worry, we don't try the dog. He's he's safe. He's safe. Ah! I'm not safe. <laughs> so earlier, and this wasn't on camera, we tried coconut milk with pineapple. And I didn't think it was bad. It just wasn't very pineapple y. Huh? It wasn't very pineapple y. Yeah, it was. It had chunks, right? But if you didn't chew the chunks of the pineapple, it was just coconut milk. But it was sweetened. It wasn't bad. And it had like a thickness like eggnog. They're gonna take out the tree. And then we tried. Oh, and this was from Hawaii. This was from Hawaii. And then we tried, what the hell is this called? Calpico. Calpico. And I didn't think Calpico was bad. This is a non-carbonated beverage from Japan. What did you think on it? It was strawberry. Delicious. It was like strawberry. I thought it was going to be like, maybe like a strawberry version of Yoohoo because it looked liquidy and watery. But it was more like... I said Tempico, you didn't know what that was, but like, like a strawberry juice. Yeah. And now we're on to the fun one, which is why we turned on. This is strawberry milk in a can from, what, Japan? Yep, it's Japan. From Japan. It says berry goodness. It better be good, because it says it. It does look thicker like milk than what that other one did. Thank it. That was kind of like strawberry yoohoo. Yeah, that was kind of watery. It wasn't bad. Um, you can't have it, Bubby. It scared me a little bit because this was just chilling on a shelf. Like, there was, it's milk and it was just chilling on a shelf. It, it freaked me out. So. I guess on to the next one. So these things, they were called milkitas, milk milkitas. I guess that's what they're called, and they were from Indonesia. And this one here is banana shake candy. And Danny hit it right on the head. What did it taste like? Uh, banana laffy taffy. Banana laffy taffy. But it was like hard, and then it got a little softer as you chewed it. It was good. It was real good. On to the next. Those are really good. And these, Danny had actually had something like these before. I don't know if it was this brand. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're Nagaraya Cracker Nuts. And this is the barbecue flavor. And they are from... Indonesia. Oh, well, you said the Philippines. No, so my sister-in-law's dad would send it to him from Malaysia. But so it's still in the Philippines. So... They're from the Philippines. And they were really good. They're really, they're unexpected though. Because they were like a roasted peanut. But then around them was like a, a cracker. Like, they were coated in cracker. Cracker nut. Cracker nut. <laughs> On to the next. This specialty one <laughs> is called Chiquita. Chiquita. And it is from Guatemala. Guatemala. Now this thing is called a banana. Banana. <laughs> banana. And it was pretty good. It tasted like it tasted like a banana. On to the next. This one caught my eye because it looked it looked like a soft drink. Uh, and so I started reading it, and it said, Hey Song Sarsaparilla. And then it had some other writing on it. Um, and then when I read the back, I went to the ingredients, and I'm pretty sure it's like a cola slash root beer thing going on. Because sarsaparilla root is how they make a lot of, like, old-timey root beers. I hope. But it says, 
Hazel and sarsaparilla drink. Ingredients. Carbonated water. Sugar. Caramel. Artificial citric acid. And then a bunch of other crap. So, like a cola thing or like a root beer thing? We'll find out. I did not like that noise. I didn't either. It smells weird. Oh, that smells like an old school root beer. Oh, it smells licorice. Yeah, it's, oh, it smells like licorice. That's, no, that smells like Barg's root beer. No, and, it don't. And Barg's root beer is the best root beer. It does that smells, not smell like, no, it does not. Well, it well, smells guess, like licorice. Well, guess what? I don't know, you're making me try it. It pours and fizzes like a root beer. Well, it is a cola of sort. Don't give me a lot. I'm scared now. Hey, song, Susparilla of Thailand. It's it's really lightly colored. It's not very dark. Ba Boo! Mm. It tastes flat. What the hell is that? I don't like that one. What does it taste like? Ginger? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I told you I, I, I didn't like it. <laughs> hey. You want the last sip in there too? <laughs> that was the weirdest flavor I've ever had in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pepsi. Made worse? No! <laughs> the foam and sparkles! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> on to the next. And our next one. Sweet baby girl chocolate. <laughs> or, um. Aruka. <laughs> this sounds like in SpongeBob. Aruka. <laughs> it's Old Man Jenkins and his jalopy. I'm not trying to make fun of a language. I just suck and I'm butchering it. So. And then it says this up here. I don't know what that means. But judging by the picture, that looks like hazelnuts and maybe raisins. Hazelnuts and raisins and chocolate. I, I could do with hazelnuts, raisins, and chocolate. You like hazelnuts? Yes. You like raisins? Sometimes. You like chocolate? Normally. You like pictures of sweet, sweet little, little girls? Okay, now you're making a weird. <laughs> Just open it. Oh. And this one's from Russia, by the way. This is produced in Moscow. <sighs> Smells like chocolate. And here's your chocolate. Here's my chocolate, and it says, ar, 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 that same name. <laughs> it says that. Ready? Boo! My heart is set. Mm. Mm, bad. Tastes like chocolate. I like 
the hazelnuts in there, just a little bit of crunch. I don't taste any raisins. I got a raisin. It's almost like they chopped the raisin up real fine. Mm, okay. I never got a big raisin, but I got a taste of raisin. And it actually worked because I like chunky bars. This reminds me of a chunky bar. Go out and get you some of these. Just good luck asking somebody for them. Because I don't know what they're called. So here's a picture. I'll get the whole camera. There you go. Screenshot that. And then go down to your international market. And tell them, I want this. On to the next. Alright y'all, we got two more tonight. And then we're going to call it. This next one is actually from China. It's Lay's Potato Chips from China. And I'm excited about this because it's grilled pork flavor. I love me some grilled pork. All I kept thinking about was I used to get these pork belly uh, banh mi's. Now that was Vietnam. Well, Vietnamese food. I got it in Delaware, so not Vietnam. But... It, it, I, I'm hoping for some kind of like a, a oriental flavoring on the pork. I don't know if it's just going to be like pork flavoring. Maybe it's just like a ramen packet seasoning. Like pork ramen. I could deal with that. But. That could be kind of good. It smells like roast pork. I do want to let y'all know if you get the ones from like China and I think um the ones from Japan were like this too the bag is thicker and like more durable so I don't know what that is but that's just something I want to add in also Lay's is still on their bullshit when it comes to what's inside because there, there's the chips way down there there's the chips let me get one out it's because I have to add all the extra air so it doesn't scooch the chips you get one out and then there's the chipper and if you see it's a wavy one it's a wavy and it's also thicker than a regular wavy chip it is so I'm pretty excited there's all of the the stuff on the chip and dink it and it broke yeah we have to give her another one here oh Bubby will get it It's actually pretty good. These are fantastic. <laughs> 10 out of 11. Or 11 out of 10. 10 out of 11. These, these things? Sissy approves too. They... What do they got a little heat on the end of them? I didn't need that. Hmm. A little tiny bit. Maybe a little bit more seasoning on, in the spot. Highly recommend. I could eat those again, though. Mm hmm. These are dangerous for me. One more, and we're out the door. Ba -bow! There's the last one. Now, remember, I was talking about when we were talking about the pool, the, the grilled pork lays. I was talking about how I used to get these bond mees, these pork belly bond mees from a Vietnamese sandwich shop in Delaware. And I used to get a pork belly bond mee and I'd wash it down every single time with one of these. Yao's or ye I'm gonna say Yao's. That's how the guy pronounced it. Yao's iced green tea drink. This was my jam jam. It has a kind of a weird taste, so I'm anticipating <laughs> issues. But I've tried it before, she has not, so I'm going to open it up and we're going to give her a little bit of a taste. I'm home! This is the smell, like... I'm very happy right now. <laughs> I can tell. And I try to 
quick as much out of mine as it could. Don't do a lot, because you... I'm scared. Okay, that's a lot. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to hit with this. I'm going to get her reaction. It's actually not horrible. It just tastes very not sweet. It's it's slightly sweetened, and it's a real light tea. So it's it doesn't come and hit you with the tea. And I know you were afraid of the green tea thing. It doesn't really give you that. It's real light. It's real mellow. It's got a tiny little bit of sweetening. It's definitely different because I'm used to southern sweet tea. Yeah, well, I mean, this is very southern sweet tea. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!